the offensive end. Napier using the Davis screen. Tried to step back. Oh, what a feed to Kuruts. Napier, great feel, and Kuruts with a finish. You just get transfixed staring at the ball, waiting to help on a roll, and you lose sight of your man. Two for one opportunity. Clarkson switching hands. He missed it. Kuruts. To the rim. Rodion's Kuruts. What a strong move to the hole. But Rodion's Kuruts providing a lift. Got away with one. Possession <laughs> for Jordan Clarkson. 82-78. He was never passing on no. that half-court oh, set. There was zero chance. Kurutz crosses. Kurutz knocked away by Nant. And the Brooklyn bench is 0 for 9 from 3, and that's really kind of been the difference yep. is the two benches. Well, didn't what he starts because of the Harris injury. Allen rebounds it after the hood miss, so... If you stay too close to him, he has the ability to stop and pop and knock down that shot, but the referees are just calling it kind of inconsistent tonight. Crab on a kick. Kurutz, long strides. He can finger roll. Kurutz. Dinwiddie to Russell. That's a three. Oh, Kurutz came out of nowhere. Rodion Kurutz with the follow. Big offensive rebound. Extra possessions. They got two extra possessions on that play. Huge. The Latvian leaner from Kurutz. And a timeout taken. Do you sit at home and think of these things? No. Being leaner? They just come to me in the moment. That is a gift. Yeah, thanks. True, true gift. It's a gift and a curse, Richard. Uh, Take a look. Well, Russell makes a decision to go one on three and be aggressive, but Jared Allen doing a good job of following up. Extra pass to the corner. And then Kuruj just not giving up on the play, saying that I want to win, showing that he wants to win with the big offensive rebound and the finish. And how about the fact that Kenny Atkinson has gone with Kuruj exclusively here in the fourth? We have not seen Rodney Hollis Jefferson, Jared Dudley, limited in Sexton. Let's it fly and misses from the outside. Russell's got the rebound. He'll try to get back defensively. Russell. That low dribble penetrates, leaves it for Kuroots, who scores on the interior. Ten points for Rodion Kuroots in 11 minutes. Two attempts of the night for Russell. He couldn't convert. Like I was trying to say, Coach Oh, what a steal. Kuroots misses it. Russell lays it in. 97-95 with 52 seconds to go. Dinwiddie the box out. And the Nets down by two with 25 seconds left on the clock. Russell for the lead. Air ball. Oh, Kuroots cleans it up and ties the game. Air Kuroots. Wow. What a sequence for Cruz. What a fourth quarter. Just playing great defense. Long arms. Underestimating the length of his arms. Going up and finishing. Not close, but Russell with the follow. And then slicing from the corner, not boxing out again. We've seen this three or four times. Five or six times with different players for the Cavs. Just not boxing out and paying attention. You get so entranced with the ball handler. You've got to try and stay focused. And the bench. And it's not coincidental, Richard, that Kuroots is in the right spots. He's got a really good feel and instincts for where to be and how to create some things on both ends of the floor. D'Angelo Russell says, hey, thanks. Oh, yeah. I missed the three, but you were there. Yeah, but that's also a team. That's a team letting you, letting each other know that you have each other's back. And we talked about the length of the length of Kuz's arms. If you haven't played against someone with that length, yep. then you think that that's a good pass. But when you understand that a person is a steel guy, you are a lot more cautious with the way you pass the ball.